Okay, welcome to another video in our One Up Leadership program. Today, I am going to be working on product knowledge. So I am going to be referencing our product training guide. This um, probably changes per catalog season, depending on the products that we offer. They add to it, they remove from it. But for now, this is what I'm going to be referencing. So if you don't have that much product knowledge, you might wanna pick one up from the Sensi Family Store. So basically, um, I'm going to show you a couple warmers. Not all of them are current. I actually think like maybe none of them are current. I just grabbed what was closest to me. Um, either way, that doesn't really matter. So um, we have different types of warmers. So I'm specifically talking about our warmers and our wax bars. I'm not going to talk about any of the other products yet. That'll be another training video. So one of our warmers, this one, I'm just going to show you because I have it right here close to me. Um, of course, it's like the heaviest warmer we have, but this is our Himalayan salt rock warmer. This is a 25 watt bulb um, that comes with our warmer. So our warmers usually take three different size bulbs, 15, 20, 25. Some of our lampshade warmers will take a 40 watt bulb, um, which is the Edison bulb. You'll know, um, usually in the catalog, it'll tell you under the picture of the warmer. Let's see if I can show you here. Under the picture of the warmer, it'll tell you, it'll tell you the name and then it'll tell you how tall it is. Let's see if I can focus on that a little bit. Well, it's hard to see. But this one takes a 40 watt bulb. So it'll tell you what size watt bulb it takes. So we have five different colors for the 25 watt bulbs. So we have the clear, which is what comes with every warmer. You can also add the green, the red, yellow, and then orange. So those can all be purchased separately for use in any of our warmers that take a 25 watt bulb. Now, the other size, we also have 20 watts. And so that's where you have to kind of look because sometimes the bigger warmers may seem like they have a 25 watt bulb, but they're usually 20, can be 20. So just double check and make sure. You can also tell sometimes this one doesn't have it. Let's see if this one does. Um, nope. Sometimes on the bottom of the warmer, there will be a sticker um, that will also tell you what size watt the bulb is. Yeah, this one, this rock warmer doesn't tell me. So we also have our mini warmers. So these mini warmers take a 15 watt bulb. They usually come with a little a toggle switch base like this. Um, these ones are, are good for more compact spaces. They take about two cubes, two cubes just sit in the top here. And um, you can also get a separate warmer stand um, that this sits on top of a tabletop one um, that has a cord. So if you like the look of the mini warmer and the size of it, but you want it to sit on top of a table, the bases are also um, available per, for purchase separately. Um, I forgot to mention on our bigger warmers that have a separate dish, you will see right here under the word Scentsy, it has a number four. So that is the recommended number of wax cubes that they're saying um, you should use in here. So you should use four wax cubes in this one. Some of the older warmers don't tell you, the mini ones don't tell you, but anything current that has a separate dish will tell you how many, um, how many cubes to put in there. So another type of warmer we have, I had mentioned that all of the warmers will tell you what size bulb, except for our element warmers. And what our element warmers are, like I said, these are not current warmers. This is my little snail warmer from years back. Um, our element warmers have this little heat plate on it. And um, these element warmers are great for any space that you want, where you want to warm Sensi, but you don't want a light. So there's no light with them. There is a little red, button a little red light on the back when it's on it will light up that's about it but it doesn't glow or anything like that um let's see our our warmers have different finishes so sometimes in the catalog you'll see a little a little tiny letter sometimes it'll be a c or a g or an h and that just tells you if, whether or not it glows, if it's a crackle glaze, if it's hand painted, if it's a reactive glaze. So this particular one 
it's probably going to be hard to see. Let me see if I can get up close here. Nope, you're not wanting to focus. Okay, well, either way, this one is a crackle finish. So if you look at it, it looks antique -y. You could see like the little cracks and it was meant to look that way. So that's something to think of too. Now, about our wax bars. So all of our bars come like this. They all have eight separate cubes where you can break them apart. You can put one in a warmer. You can put four in a warmer. Um, they are, um, each bar lasts anywhere from 80 to 120 hours. So the more the more cubes you use, um, the better, let's see, what does this say right here? Um, your fragrance intensity can be increased by adding more wax cubes. So if you want to smell the fragrance more, add more wax cubes. Um, so our bars come in packs of three packs and six packs. This particular one is a licensed bar, but just pretend it's not licensed and it's a regular bar. Um, you can get them in three packs or six packs, so you can bundle them, save more. We also have these really cool cotton cleanups. These make great little hostess reward things, little add-ins for packages for customers. Uh, one cotton cleanup soaks up about four cubes. So when you have your melted wax in your dish, all you do is you put this in there and it'll soak up the wax. You pull this, pop it, throw it out, and then you can put new wax in. So that's the basic gist of our warmer. So we have the wax that lasts 80 to 120 hours. We have different fragrances, over 80 different fragrances. Um, so there's a scent for every single nose and the differences between some of our warmers. Our lampshade warmers are usually the 40 watt warmers. Those are the ones that will glow. Um, those ones are really beautiful even on their own. If you, if you have a customer that doesn't prefer wax, those ones are really good too. So in the future videos, we'll talk about more product information, more product knowledge. Um, but for now, that's all I have for you. Until next time.